Assess using the Enhanced Revel Performance Data. Welcome to this webinar. This session will examine the Enhanced Revel Performance Views and how to use the data presented to inform your intervention strategies with your classes and individual students. Developing some best practices in my classrooms and conducting an efficacy study over three years resulted in a more than 25% increase in student retention for my online classes. And I attribute that success to both the power of Revel to engage students with the content, but most importantly, the Revel dashboard gave me an easy to read summary of class and individual performance, allowing me to focus on the principles students were struggling with. Rather than simply using valuable teaching time to cover all the material, this data allowed me to flip my face-to-face -face classes and drill down from da daily to those areas where students were not grasping concepts from the reading. I was then able to adjust my teaching to offer activities in class that focused on hard concepts, as the data indicated which students were falling behind in their performance. I'm convinced that early intervention with struggling students through emails and feedback increased their sense of personal connection with the class and the instructor, and over three years decreased my attrition in online classes by a little more than 25%. So let's get started viewing a Revel course and how to access the data. Select the course you wish to view from your Pearson account page. View the course status from the dashboard. Your Revel course opens to the dashboard page and shows different information depending on where you are in the development of the course. Course setup appears if your course start date is in the future. Class performance appears if your course date has passed. I've just switched between course setup and class performance views. In this session, we're going to work with the performance dashboard view and the grade view with some student data aggregated in order to demonstrate how to effectively use the data provided. Your course will open to the performance dashboard with student data once your class has begun and students have made progress. At the bottom left, you will see the course setup. If you select this, you will see assignments and their status, whether they are published or not, student enrollment information, a link to invite students to join your course. Note, this link will not appear if your institution enrolls students through an LMS like Canvas, Blackboard, Moodle, or D2L. You will see a countdown to days until your course begins, a link to course settings, and as was discussed in detail in the webinar on assigning, you should review and edit these before creating your assignments. Select Class Performance, and you will return to see scores and class averages for current assignments. Assignments waiting for your review, struggling students who may need help, or who are completing little work. You can filter the assignments in a number of ways, and you can assort by ascending or descending. If we select by all assignments and sort by descending and select the December 18th assignment, we have options menus using the three little dots to the far right. From here, we can view the assignment as the students would see it, view the assignment in the grade view, or edit the assignment. Returning to the dashboard view, we can select and filter the currently due, recently due assignments. You can filter which assignments to display. Select an assignment's progress below at the at a glance performance status bar. You can quickly see details about the class's score distribution. On any assignment, you can select the chevron next to the current assignment filter. If you select assignments but don't see them on the dashboard, select all as your filter. If you wish to see an assignment as a student would see it, select the Assignments option menu using the three little dots to the far right of the assignment. Select View Assignment. You will then have the same view that a student would have when opening this assignment. If you select History, review the assignment's history. Selecting the Notebook view will allow you to see all the notes you have created and shared with your students about the content. Returning to the assignment view, if you select 
an assignment that is not yet due, the Options menu will allow you to edit that future assignment. You may also view assignments and grades to view student progress. Selecting this view, Revel will take you to the course homepage and the grades. You will see several view options for that assignment. For the assignments, you have a student view, an assignment view, or a choice of due date views. For each assignment, you can see the number of students who have low activity, or the number of challenging assignments, meaning assignments where the scores were lowest for the entire class. By selecting students with low activity, you are given a window listing those students and the ability to email these students from that site. This ability to intervene quickly and with ease has been one of the most successful uses of Revel in my classrooms. This increases my ability to connect in a meaningful way with my students, giving them immediate feedback on their performance. Early intervention often retains a struggling student by alerting them to low performance before they fall so far behind they lose hope or have grades beyond repair. By selecting the option in any assignment for challenging assessments, I am able to quickly review the class performance on more difficult concepts, and this informs my classroom activities to offer additional support. It allows me to walk into my class knowing what they don't know. Rather than assuming they hadn't read any of the material before coming to class, I was able to flip my classrooms addressing the challenging concepts rather than my previous PowerPointing of the entire chapter losing the attention of many who already grasp much of the content. Now I add activities to my classroom time that drills down to what the challenges for that specific group of students are. This has been so empowering to me as an instructor. On any assignment, you may select the car carrot to the far right, which will expand the view to a full detail of all components of that assignment. On Assignments, you ac access Options from a drop-down menu by clicking on the three little dots to the far right. You are then able to view the assignment, edit the assignment, or edit the due date. This will allow you to extend due dates for the entire assignment for the entire class. In Florida, my home state, I have used this on several occasions when hurricanes brought unexpected closings of our schools. On any part of the assignment, including the chapter reading, you are also able to select options for viewing using the three little dots to the far right of that module. You may view the details of that assessment, or you can edit the due date for that one part of the entire assignment. I'm particularly fond of being able to check on the reading engagement of students. This informs me before class about the preparedness of my students. I select the details of the reading assignment. I can view the class average for the reading time for this one module, and I can see all the students and their last activity. If I select any student and use the three dot option menu, I'm able to view that student's performance details, email the student, or extend the due date of that module for that student. When I select the option to view the student's details, the data informs the type of interventions I will employ with each student. This increases my personal reach out to struggling students, which increases the student's emotional connection to the class. This is most important for online students, as the tactile connections which engage students with their learning environments is limited. Being able to make meaningful contact with individuals addressing their specific challenges has been an important component of that significant increase in student retention I've seen over the years I've been using Revel. I'm even able to offer extensions to students from this view. Returning to the assignment view for the December 18th assignment, we also have the ability to select any module for review of data on performance. In this case, the chapter quiz for deviance and social control. I have an options menu as well. I can review the entire class results on this assessment, or I can extend the due date for this one assessment. If I choose the option to view the entire class results on this quiz, I am able to see the entire class performance details on this one assessment. I see average scores, average times, the number of struggling students, the numbers of students with low activity, and any questions on that quiz that were challenging for the entire class. 
By selecting the Options menu for this quiz, I'm able to view the entire class results in detail or edit the due date for this quiz. Let's return to the grade view on the course homepage to examine how to access the data that will inform your decisions about class interventions. From this view, you have a number of options. You may select the student view or the assignment view. If you choose the student view, you have a drop-down filter of how you wish to view the students. <clears throat> you may select all students, struggling students, students with low activity, or students ready to grade meaning submissions that are ungraded. When I select students with low activity, I get a view of the students who have not participated recently. By selecting one of these students, I have an options menu of how I wish to view this, this student's performance. I am able to drill down to Natalie's last activity date, her current score compared to the class average, and her time on task compared to the class average time on task. I can even drill down to Natalie's scores on individual assignable assessments within assignments. Returning to the grade view on the home page, you can select assignment view and filter. You are offered a number of date views. You are also able to filter the assignments. You can filter by scores, work completed, or time on task. By selecting an assignment and opening the menu options, you are able to view the assignment, view it in grades, or edit the assignment. If we select the caret that expands the individual assignment, the view includes all the assessments within that assignment. By selecting the menu options of any individual module within that assignment, we can view the details of that module or edit the due date, allowing extensions. By selecting the reading assignment, we are able to see the class average and access individual student data. Let's select an assignment with student performance data. The chapter on race and ethnicity was due on February 8th. We have several options for viewing low activity, challenging assessments, meaning class performance scores were low, and we are able to access data from the overall scores on the individual assessments within this assigned due date. Let's select shared writing. We are given a quick glance overview of the student performance on this assessment. We can see individual scores, the date the student completed the assignment, the time each student spent on the assignment. If we drill down to one student, we can see the global settings for this assignment accepted with late penalty. This student received full credit, and we can select Review. We can then see the assignment prompt with the student responses. We can follow a similar procedure to view individual responses to journal entries. While these are not assignable for credit, often professors would like to see the students' responses to better understand how they are applying the content and increasing their critical thinking skills. Select Review. You are then able to view individual student responses. To review student performance on quizzes, you can select View Class Results under Class Performance in the upper left of the screen. You will see a detailed view of that quiz and the class average and the class averages per question. By selecting an individual question, you are able to view the data indicating the percentage of the class that was able to answer correctly or incorrectly. By selecting an individual student, you are able to view that student's performance on each question in the quiz. You can view the individual response to any question. So let's review quickly what has been covered in our webinar. We've examined how to use the dashboard view with the options menu for reviewing, viewing, and editing. We've discussed how using this data can inform interventions you might choose to increase student performance and engagement, thus increasing student retention. We've reviewed the uses of the grade view to view student performance in the student view or aggregated data about the individual assignments in the Assignments view. The ability to understand our students' preparedness, engagement, and success with mastering content can be achieved by reviewing easy-to-read and meaningful performance data. It has increased my effectiveness as an instructor and has significantly increased my students' success, seen by a 25% increase in online student retention. Thank you for attending, 
and please contact us if you have further questions about how to effectively assess the data in Revel to increase student success.